Every four years at the Summer Olympics, athletes from across the globe compete for the title of fastest sprinter, biker, hurdler, and walker. That's right, race walking isn't just a romantic comedy trope. And she tells you all her stories, you tell all your stories. It's also an Olympic sport. Race walking might sound like an oxymoron, but these athletes walk faster than most people run. Hi, I'm Rich Luchow, and uh, this is my workout. Olympic level athletes can compete as fast as the sub six minute miles. My best is just under 640. A world record holder, Yusuke Suzuki walked 20 kilometers in an hour and 16 minutes and 36 seconds. That's an average of a six minute and 11 second mile. Or put another way, that's 9.7 miles an hour for 12.4 miles. Nine miles an hour is almost the average speed of a Segway. But race walking isn't just about what you can do, it's also about what you can't. One of the major things with race walking is your form and your technique. When you're doing your workout and you're racing, it's very important to keep a straight leg. You don't want a bent leg like you would in running, uh, where you're coming off the ground high. At some point during your form, you have to come through straight legged and follow through in that motion. The other major aspect is lifting off the ground. In running, you lift off the ground and pop up, if you will. In race walking, you have to keep one foot on the ground at all times. And in order to do that, the best way to do it is through a hip roll. Um, by rolling your hips from side to side, you can extend your stride, and you can also keep that one foot planted on the ground at all times. If it does come off during a race, an official will provide you a warning, and eventually, if you consistently do it, you will be disqualified from it. So how do you get fit enough to walk as fast as a Segway for miles on end? You do what all athletes do, you train. Training is very important. It isn't just a silly looking walk. It, there's really a lot of effort that goes into what we do. And uh, it's, it's as much of a, a strenuous activity as distance running is, as sprinting, as hurdling, as all the other track events that are out there.